transit buses are among the safest modes of travel. However, because buses are operated on the road continuously for many hours a day, they are constantly exposed to hazardous conditions and sometimes get into crashes. As a result, the likelihood of an individual transit bus being involved in a crash is much higher than for an individual automobile, and bus crashes usually are costly. Safety data have been collected from 35 California transit agencies that operate a total of 1,785 buses. Between 1997 and 2001, they experienced close to 10,000 crashes and incidents, costing these transit agencies a total of $36 million. Because transit agencies are mostly self-insured, the costs of these incidents directly reduce their fare box recovery ratios. They also impair the efficiency of the transit operations and can create a negative public image. This is the ABC7 Sunday Morning News. Good morning, everyone. I'm Janelle Wang. Thanks for joining the ABC7 News at 9. Two people were injured this morning. One of them seriously. The accident happened near the Gary Danko restaurant at North Point and Hyde Streets around 2 o'clock this morning. A man and a woman were hit by a bus. The man is being treated for major head trauma. Police are investigating the cause of this accident. Collisions involving transit buses, as with any large vehicles operating in an urban or suburban environment, are potentially disastrous to both passengers and the general public. Collisions also cost transit agencies both money and time, and if serious enough, may adversely affect our ridership. Sam Trans is an example of a very safe agency. Our drivers receive literally hundreds of hours of training. Still, collisions occur. To help reduce the potential threat to our passengers and the public, the district is looking to technology for a way to warn the driver before a problem occurs, providing them an effective tool to better avoid collisions. Transit buses are most often operated in urban and suburban areas, where the traffic environment is much more complicated than on limited access highways or freeways. Bus drivers often encounter vehicles whose drivers brake abruptly without advance warning. In this scene collected by the data acquisition system on a SamTrans bus, the vehicle in front of the bus slowed abruptly because the vehicle in front of him slowed abruptly to turn into a driveway. Some drivers cut in front of buses and then rapidly decelerate to a stop. Some pedestrians disobey traffic signals and cross the street in front of the bus without hesitation. There are also significant potentially hazardous activities along the side of the bus, including the motions of other vehicles, pedestrians, and bicycles which are not easy for the bus driver to perceive and respond to. These can become hazards when the driver needs to change lanes to avoid a forward hazard or to approach a bus stop. Sensors installed at the front of the bus can see a significant number of targets in the urban environment, including parked cars on the roadside, traffic signs, and diverse roadside furniture such as utility boxes and newspaper stands, in addition to the intended targets in front of the bus. Commercially available collision warning systems designed for highway driving have been tested in the urban and suburban environment, but they typically do not work below 30 miles per hour and cannot deal with the complicated urban driving environment features seen in this video. In 2000, the United States Department of Transportation, Federal Transit Administration, initiated research on how to help transit bus drivers avoid crashes as part of the Intelligent Vehicle Initiative. Representatives from the transit industry identified forward, side, and rear collision warnings as critically needed functions to be addressed through use of advanced ITS technologies. Funded by the ITS Joint Program Office of the U.S. Department of Transportation with cost share from the California Department of Transportation and Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, FTA established the Transit IVI program to include the development of forward collision warning systems, side collision warning systems, and integrated forward and side collision warning systems. The forward collision warning system uses lasers and microwave radar sensors to detect obstacles in front of the moving bus. A computer discriminates between obstacles in the vehicle's path that are dangerous and those that are not and continuously assesses the safety of the driving environment. When an imminent threat is detected, the Driver Vehicle Interface, or DVI, warns the driver, 
providing an alert indicating the threat level and direction. The side collision warning system uses iSafe laser scanners to detect obstacles on both sides of the bus. A curb detection sensor determines if the obstacle is on the roadway. Once an object that could make contact with the bus is detected, a warning is issued using the same DVI. The frontal and side collision warning systems can be installed separately or as an integrated system, which will provide obstacle detection and warning to the driver of any hazards to the front or side of the bus. When the frontal and side collision warning systems are integrated, bus drivers are helped with 270 degrees of detection and will be warned if hazardous conditions are present. The frontal collision warning system can effectively discriminate between obstacles that could induce hazards and obstacles that pose no danger and can generate warnings when driver action is needed. In this footage, the driver was paying attention to the bushes on the right side of the road and inadvertently steered the bus across the lane line. The side collision warning informed him there was a nearby car on the left side. This triggered his safe response, steering the bus back to the center of the lane. The transit collision warning system not only will improve safety, but also can be cost effective. An independent study conducted by the Volpe National Transportation System Center has shown that when the transit collision warning system is widely deployed, a three to four thousand dollar transit collision warning system can be paid off in three to five years through the saving of crash related costs. The transit collision warning system can help transit agencies to reduce their crash rate, save money, improve their image, and enhance passenger comfort.